Hey guys, it's LBS Honey, and today I am so excited because I have a bunch of new generation pets to be opening for you guys that I bought from Toys R Us. I'm sure many of you guys know that Toys R Us is shutting down in the US and the UK, but only recently they announced that they're also going to be closing the Australian Toys R Us stores, which is very sad because in Australia, Toys R Us is pretty much the only place you can get LPS nowadays. Big W does sell the blind boxes, but that's about it. So for us Australian collectors, it's going to be super difficult to find LPS, but I decided to go down because they are continuing business as usual till further notice, but they are eventually going to be shutting down. So I decided to go down and see if I could find any new LPS, and I did, and I'm so happy. So I'll insert a little clip here of me kind of going around Toys R Us and picking up some of the pets. So as you can see, I picked up quite a few pets and some of them I didn't show on camera and I'm going to be saving for a different video and some other things that I also picked up aren't LPS related and they'll be in a separate video as well. But today is going to be the main attraction. Most of the pets I bought are in this video. So let's get started. I'm going to show you all these adorable little mini scale pets behind me. So this is the first pack here. We get a little kind of snow leopard cat and a mystery pet. Every single pack has a mystery pet that you don't know what it is. So that's really cool. But I love, love, love this wild cat. I think it is adorable. Next up I got possibly my favorite mini pet they have made so far. And it is this little fluffy dog. And I love the name they've given him. Usually I don't like the names. But his name is Chunky Water Fluff. Like, oh my gosh. And of course, a mystery pet in here. Here. I also picked up the walrus pack and this looks really awesome. I don't think they've ever made a mini scale walrus so this is really cool. I also picked up this little horse pack. I'm not a huge fan of the mini scale horses or even the G5 horses. I don't think they're the cutest. I prefer G2 horses but I'm really interested to see who the mystery one is because his last name is Duckley so I'm assuming it's a duck. Hopefully it is because I have a feeling a mini scale duck would be very cute. I also picked up the ladybug set and I think this ladybug is so adorable. I love the little like swirl of hair. It's so cute. And lastly, I picked up the mouse set. So in total, there are six packs of two pets and I believe that's all the ones they made for this like wave of pets. Um, but either way, that's all the different ones they had at Toys R Us. And when I saw these dogs and cats, I thought I would love them, so you guys would probably love them as well. So I also picked up another two dogs and cats, so one for me and one for you guys possibly. So I am going to be giving a pack of the dogs and a pack of the cats away. When I reach 50,000 subscribers on this channel, I'll probably be giving away one on Instagram and one here on YouTube. I'm not too sure yet and I still need to buy a few more things because I will be giving away more than just these. So make sure you subscribe down below so I can reach 50k and we can do another really awesome giveaway. Oh, and I almost forgot, I also picked up two more of the little blind boxes. I was watching LPS Hannah's video where she opened a full case of these and I was seeing which little tag on the outside matched the pet on the inside because I am trying to get this little like I think it's an otter here and there's also like a little cat that comes with a love heart which I'm trying to get so I think these colors on the outside match the ones that she showed in her video so fingers crossed and I'm actually going to open these up first so we can just get them out of the way quickly so let's start with this little kind of greenish yellow one alrighty so let's see who we got please be the one I want okay so I'll quickly show you guys the pamphlet so you know which ones I'm trying to get if I can get it out of there wow so let me open this up. 
So the ones I'm trying to get are this red one here with the little love heart. I think this pet is so cute. It looks like a little kitten. And then I'm also trying to get this one here with the yellow star. It looks like a little otter pup, which is adorable. So yeah, those are the two I'm trying to get. Hopefully they are in this bag and the other one's in the other box. So let's open it up and see if I got the ones I really wanted. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see. Okay, we have a yellow tie. And... <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, and there's the pet. Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. Maybe it is an otter pup. Otter, otter pup. Oh my gosh. Otter pup. Maybe it's a little kitten. Yeah, it's got a long tail. This must be a kitten. Let me just turn you around the right way, little guy. Oh, that is heart melting. He looks so sad and cute. And he's got like a little mud splotch on his head. I am in love. I'm so happy right now. Thank you, Hannah, for making that video because honestly, if you hadn't made that video, I wouldn't have known what color to look for to find this pet. So I'll leave her video link in the description below if you want to check it out. She opened up a full case. So here's the little star. I love these ones with the locks. So it just pops open. I also opened some of these in a video before, so if you want to see that, there will be a link up in this corner, which you can click on. I cannot get him on his little star. Alrighty, I eventually got him on, and he is so cute. I love this pack. Probably my favorite besides the other one I'm trying to get, of course. So let's clear everything out the way here. So we can open up the next box. Fingers crossed it is the love heart one. If so, that would be amazing. Alrighty, let's open it up. Okay. So there is our little bag. And where is the tape on here? There it is. Okay, guys. And... Yes! I think. Is it? Oh my gosh, yes it is. Ah! <clears throat> sorry, my voice is kind of disappearing right now, so if you hear me cough, I'm very sorry. But look at him. It's like a little Persian cat baby. Oh my goodness. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy right now. I wanted these so much. There's a little heart. And in here should be the key. So, yep. Ooh, that's a really cute key. It's like translucent. I'm having a lot of trouble focusing my camera. I hope you guys can see that. But it's like a little lollipop almost. Maybe this is like Valentine's themed. So I'll just open that up. Oh my gosh, the focusing is terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. Let me put him on there. Bing! There he is. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you so much, Hannah. I knew you didn't get these for me or anything, but honestly, your video helps so much. I've been dying to get these two, and now I finally have them. So, yeah, if you're trying to find those two, look for this blue little, like, locket piece, and this kind of yellow, it kind of has a tiny bit of green in it, tinged one. So, yeah, so let's clear everything out the way and move on to some mini scale pets. So, of course, I'm going to start off with my favorite one, the little dog pack. I personally don't really use the names that they give you, so I won't be going through all of the names because I'm not too sure if you guys even care about that or not. But the packaging is super cute. It's, of course, the aqua green, which they've been using for a little while now, and it has little dog houses and bones and dog food. Um, there's nothing on the back, though. Usually there's, like, a little checklist or something. But yeah, nothing back there, and unfortunately, none of them come with checklists, so I cannot show you any of the pets in this series 2, which I'm so sad about. Um, but I do have some pets coming in the mail that will hopefully have pamphlets, so I hope you guys will look forward to that video. But without further ado, let's open up this little dog pack. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I've said before in multiple videos, I'm not a huge fan of mini pets. Some of them are cute, but most of them I do not like that much. But I think these ones are going to change my mind. Can you guys see how freaking adorable they are? 
Oh my gosh. So I'll start off with our little mystery one here. It looks like it's a little chihuahua, which is adorable. And it has like the softest pink nose I have ever seen. You can barely see it. But I think it's adorable. I would have loved it if they had pink in the ears. But besides that, I think it is such a cute little mold. It reminds me a lot of a Generation 5 Chihuahua they've made. I don't own it sadly, so I'll put a picture up on screen so you guys can see a little comparison. But yeah, I think this is adorable. Oh, the paint is done really well. It stands up really well. That's a problem I have with mini scale pets. They don't stand very well. But this one seems pretty sturdy with its little paws. So I love this one. I mean, just look at that little face. How can you not love it? And of course, this adorable little fluff ball. Oh my gosh. He is so cute. I love the color as well. This kind of purple color. I don't know what kind of shade of purple you would really call it, but I love it. Oh my gosh. Just look at the face. Ah, and I love the eye color as well. I am a sucker for green eyes. I think they are gorgeous. So this one is a definite plus for me. It reminds me a lot of a brown dog I have. Actually, I'll go get it super quick. Okay, so here's our teensy scale pet. And then here is pretty much the big version of it. And then there's also a teensy version of it. I know the colors are a bit different and the teensy and the big one are probably closest in color where this one's purple, but they all are like the similar mold and I think it is so cute. You have a whole family of little fluffy, adorable dogs. So this is probably my favorite. I don't see how the other packs could beat it, but I will save the cat pack till last so we can have a grand finale of adorable pets. So let's move on to the little mouse pack. So I actually think the mini scale mice are some of the cutest mini scale pets. I think it's perfect for mice to be mini scaled and I'm actually pretty interested to see who the hidden pet is. So let's get opening. So here's our two little LPS. We of course have the little mouse, which I absolutely love. I love how big they make their ears as well. I think it's so cute and it just looks like almost cartoonish, like it belongs in a Tom and Jerry cartoon. But then the mystery one we got is a little guinea pig. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a guinea pig. I always get guinea pigs and hamsters confused, but I think this is a guinea pig. He looks guinea pig ish. But yeah, there he is. All of these pets have really simple designs, but they're very cute. I do really like the little stripe on his body. I think that's adorable. And the mouse just looks so cute. I love it so much. So there is our little mouse and guinea pig set. Let's move on to the horse pack. So yes, it is a duck and I think it is a really, really, really cute duck. So here's a quick little look at the horse. It's a mold they've already used before so it's nothing really new. But here is the little duck baby, or duckling I should say, and he is so cute. I think this is a new mold, I'm not 100% sure, but I love how it has its little arms out like it wants a hug. So cute, oh my gosh. And like it's really sturdy as well. Usually with bird pets, they always have like tiny feet and it's so hard to stand there. But this one I think would stand pretty well on its own. I love how it has a little curl of hair on top as well. That is so cute. So there's our little horse and duck pack. Honestly, I think these packs are really awesome. Even if I don't like both of them, there's at least one that I really like. So I'm super happy with that. And I'm actually kind of curious. Let me know in the comments comments down below how much you guys pay for these two packs because here in Australia they are five dollars each which I think is a pretty decent price but I'm kind of curious to see what everyone else has to pay in their country but anyway moving on let's open up the ladybug pack I'm actually really excited about this pack I love it when they do bug LPS they're not the most common made pet and I think they look really awesome especially ladybugs because there are some cute generation 2 ladybugs out there Hey 
guys, so in this pack you of course get the ladybug and I think that this is a dragonfly which is really cool. I don't think they've ever made a mini scale dragonfly. He looks awesome. But let's take a quick look at the ladybug because I think this one is so adorable. Ah, I love the little spots. They're so cute and it's just so tiny. So adorable. Oh, this one's kind of like a bit wobbly on its feet though I think because one of its legs is sticking out maybe but there she is and then we have this dragonfly which I really really like it's really cool looking yeah I don't know I don't have a lot of dragonfly LPS and I think the wings look really awesome they're kind of like a flexible plastic and they're kind of transparent which is really cool I love it when they do transparent parts on pets I think it looks so awesome especially on wings so yeah, there is our ladybug and dragonfly. I actually really like this set. I don't know, I think this might be my second favorite set I've opened so far. But with that being said, it's time to move on to our second last pack, which is the walrus pack. I am so excited to get this little guy out. I think he looks hilarious. Oh my gosh, so let's open it up. So here's our little two pack. We of course have the walrus, which I think looks so cool. I love him. It's like a tiny little old man. I'm sorry to insult you little walrus, but you've got to be honest. You look like a wrinkly old man, but I love it. Oh my gosh, so cute. And I love the little tusks, <gasps> adorable. And then we have a little fish, which again isn't a new mold, and I'm not a huge fan of the fish, but this one kind of reminds me of a koi fish with the different colors it has, like the gradient effect. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this one is pretty decent, a lot better than some other fish they've made, but there they are together. Actually, now that I'm looking at this fish, it kind of looks like a small version of the G5 pet they made. I'll get it right now so we can compare. Okay, I am back and I have bought with me what I think is the kind of grown-up version of this fish. Let me know what you guys think. I think they're pretty similar, like, like they have the same kind of gradient colors and the kind of reddish-orange is pretty much identical. So that would be so cool if Hasbro is making like small versions of big pets. So if you're doing a series, you could have the baby grow up to be a regular size pet because when you do a series, it's kind of hard to find a puppy that matches the color of a dog. So if they start doing dogs and cats, which are smaller versions of released ones, that would be amazing for LPS films and series. It would be so cute to see them grow up into regular size pets. But like I said, I'm saving one of the best looking ones for last, and it is this cat pack. Ah, so I'm so excited to get this one open. I'm sorry in advance, it's raining outside, so it might get a little louder. Right now it's raining quite softly, but in case it gets louder, I do apologize. It's been very stormy lately. But let's get this little guy open. I cannot wait any longer. goodness you guys these are so cute so we got two little kittens we have a little Scottish fold kitty for our mystery one I love how these mini pets look and there is a G5 Scottish fold which I don't have I would love to get it one day so I'll put an image on screen of what it looks like um, it's not the big version of this one but I think the Scottish fold pets they've been making are just adorable and this one is no exception you know what I love the little pink around the mouth that is the cutest touch oh my gosh it just looks like a tiny little baby and I just want to scoop it up and cuddle it oh my goodness and then of course we have our kind of little wild cat here I feel like this has been made into a regular pet but I can't think of the pet so if you guys know let me know in the comments because I don't think I have it if it has been made into a regular pet but it looks amazing I love all the little details this is probably the most detailed one I love the ears and I love how it has one little white paw and all the others are just the regular body color I think that's such a cute little touch and you don't really see a lot of that in pets usually they're very symmetric so it's cool to see like a random little pattern like a regular cat would have not all 
animals are symmetric so that's really cool and I think it looks adorable I love it to bits so guys here they all are lined up they look so freaking adorable oh my goodness oh my gosh I just realized I forgot to include the walrus and fish I'm sorry little guys to be honest, I usually think LPS are a little overpriced here in Australia, but these ones were definitely worth it. $5 for two mini LPS, which are so cute, definitely worth it. So I really recommend you guys pick these up if you like the designs. Of course, they are so freaking cute and useful as well because some of them have regular size LPS versions. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. I honestly don't know. I really love the purple dog and the wild cat, but I also really love that dragonfly and ladybug. Oh my gosh, and how can I forget my two little new teensies, which are just the cutest things in the world with their adorable, sad little faces. Just look at them, oh my goodness. But yeah guys, that is all I have time for today. Like I said, I have more unboxings planned in the future and I actually just got a package today which I haven't opened yet, which has some new LPS in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to future ones. And of course, remember that if you guys can help me get to 50,000 subscribers, I will be giving away both of these packs. So make sure you subscribe and like always, please focus. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!